Hi, this is Rick Sandberg. I'm a senior applications engineer for Hawkridge Systems in our Portland, Oregon office. And in this video, I'd like to show you a clever patterning technique that's going to be based on a gap between the closest edges between our pattern features. The normal patterning tool in SolidWorks is great for doing a center to center gap between our features. All we have to do is put that spacing, the number of instances we want, multiple directions, a feature, and or, or body to uh, pattern, and it does a great job of taking care of that pattern for us. But sometimes this basic spacing is not sufficient for what we need. In this scenario, we'd like to have the gap between the edges of these features to be constant while we change the parameters of the sphere diameter and the protrusion height. With a normal patterning tool, changing any of these parameters will change that spacing. If I change from 5 to 10 diameter, my gap went from 4 to 2. Likewise, if I change my, my uh, protrusion distance, that gap will change once again. That's not our design intent. How do we get our design intent for this? Well, here's the trick. We start out by creating some reference geometry for a sphere. And once we've created that, we don't use that for our pattern. This one's only going to be for reference. In the definition of the sphere, though, I'll define the diameter of the sphere that I want to use, where it intersects my surface, and how far it's going to protrude. I've created this as a surface body just as a convenience to help me keep it separate from the rest of my, of my sphere that I would like to pattern. Once I have that reference sphere, I'll create a solid sphere that will take on the same dimensions, size dimensions of my reference sphere, but it will be positioned relative to points where they intersect that surface. And that gives me my edge to edge gap that I'm looking for. Once I have that, I create a reference dimension for the center to center between these two spheres. That gives me a dimension to use in my pattern. Now that I have those, I can create my pattern. And in the definition of that pattern, I'm using that reference dimension from my sphere. Great technique. Now that I have that set up, I can use my surface body with the surface cut command or cut with surface and then thicken to create my solid part with the pattern in it. Let's see if it now will meet my design intent. To help me determine this, I've set up some global variables such as the spacing, protrusion distance, sphere diameter, and number of instances. Let's change both my sphere diameter and my protrusion distance, but keep my spacing at six millimeters. Hit OK, everything rebuilds, and my gap remains six millimeters. That's my design intent. This has been a quick overview of a special patterning technique in SOLIDWORKS. Thank you for tuning in.